in the run up to the rally and in the time between the rally and the Club Q shooting, Daily Wire hosts Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, and Candace Owens have all been using the same coordinated vocabulary. Doctors are mutilating and sterilizing our children, they say, while the left cheers them on. Parents and teachers who support trans kids, they say, are groomers, a term that used to be reserved for adults who formed inappropriate relationships with children, thereby earning their trust and maybe even their parents' trust on the way towards eventually acting out their pedophilia. But now, anyone who seeks to create acceptance and safety for LGBTQ young children is branded by these right-wingers as grooming them. It's the old wound reopened. Queer people are pedophiles. Gay and lesbian teachers will corrupt your child and turn them. Any mention of gay relationships or transgendered people existing is putting decadent ideas into children's heads. Hence, the Florida Parents' Rights in Education Act, passed by Ron DeSantis in March of this year, sometimes called the Don't Say Gay Bill by activists who point out that it forbids any acknowledgement of LGBTQ existence in schools and therefore any acknowledgement that some of those kids in those schools might actually be LGBTQ themselves. But this cynical employment of the term groomer actually originates with one James Lindsay. Now, he's a former academic, famous for a spate of television appearances during the last moral panic. You remember the one about critical race theory in schools. Lindsay was the guy who would come on and say that critical race theory was the latest incarnation of a stealthy plot that goes all the way back to a group of Marxist philosophers in pre-World War II Frankfurt who wanted to turn America communist. Anyway, 